pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, uh assistance? I suppose I could use some... Pointers. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Uh, okay, understood. Missiles on the next targets. Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. That should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. To speed things up, use a scanning probe. Okay. Let's try it out. I have located a container at some distance. You might want to use the energized boost to reach it more quickly, but be careful. Collisions at such a high speed can be fatal. Resources and a weapon, but you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it.
Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. Is anything salvageable on this freighter? Probably, but I would not advise it as it may draw unwanted attention. Hmm. Well, that was done. Didn't you know all units in the direct vicinity will react negatively if you attack one? I can see that now, thanks. things. Jump gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Grady and Brunt prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector, so, yes.
That's just what I need. Outlaws. Independent operators with varying affiliations, profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. They're onto me. This time, this time I'll make it. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth a risk. was not good. A key ship component is damaged. It is recommended you fix it before your next encounter. If you say so. Result.
this mining outfit I'm registering. Brady and Brunt Prospects. Corporate Behemoth, sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster and the colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. You have yet to achieve an upper half, it seems. So many of them. This is a service station. Do you know what happens in a service station? I thought I asked the questions here. Do you? Uh, refuel, trade parts. You're learning.
I've been traced. Multiple hostiles incoming. Got company. Nice and simple. There's a few of them. This could be a sticky situation here. can you tell me about this end of the galaxy? Cluster 34, also known as the Belt of Brains, a group of systems approximately 1,000 light years from the Sol system. Mapped to precision in the 24th century, but unexplored by colonials until the 30th. 
Demarcation lines between colonial and native Okar interests are still in dispute. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's convenient. Finish them off! 